everybody. Welcome back to the Bourbon Patrol Podcast. I'm Josh. And I'm Justin. Justin, I know this is the, your baby. You've had it for a while. Tell them what yeah, we um, I can't remember when I bought this. It is a... I know it's been a while. Yeah. I've been wanting to do it for a while on this thing. It's a Templeton Rye Barrel Strength coming in at 114.6 proof. Straight rye whiskey. So, no bourbon here. Just straight rye. This is done. Straight rye. It ain't even been open. I never opened it. Hey, oh. bud. Let me see if I can't get it open. <laughs> While I'm doing that. While you're trying to get that open, yeah. Josh can read some scripture for us. I just want to read it. Can you read? Can you read? Can you read? Excuse me. Excuse me. Maybe I should have uncellophaned it before. So. Yeah. Uh, we got Psalm 30, verse 2. Oh, Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you chair. have healed me. Actually, get in your chair. That he will. If you believe. Right. So it kind of pop we get on this. Mm. That's a nice one. That was good. That was a good pop. I was so heavy handed this time, Justin. The, the monster. Here he comes to wreck the video. Yep. <laughs> Actually, lay down. You have to excuse the dog. Excuse the little dog. Really Come on, Brandon, get your seat. <laughs> yeah, this, this, Brandon. this is Brandon. <laughs> Turned into a dog. <laughs> okay. Definitely tells her off. Yeah. It's strong in the nose, boy. It is, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, here plays his foot. The baby put his foot in the baby foot. I don't even know what to tell you is on the nose because it's like I sucked that's, peppermint or what I was. suck crack pepper up my nose. Burning my nose while I was trying to over here spilling the time. One thing about rise and bourbons, I feel like bourbons have so many more notes. On the on the nose. On those. Okay. And rise is just like one just it's like it's a distinct one thing or the other and that's pretty much it. I don't get anything other than just heat. Black yeah, pepper is on the yeah. nose. They're my, let's we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Black pepper on the forefront, like just bam. But, um, I don't, try I can't pull if it changes. I usually don't get caramel off of a rye, but I got caramel on the palate. I get that. Caramel and pepper. I get that pepper used that we're talking about on the palate. Yeah. Even on the finish. There's something sweet up front, and I just associate it with like, it just kind of like a caramel. Yeah. There's a sweet. And then pepper. I get on, sweet the nose, on the nose, there's a sweet note there, but I can't pinpoint what it is. And yeah. But on the palate, it, it's caramel, but on the nose, it's not caramel. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, it comes out, it comes out of the nose after you. After the first sip, I can smell the caramel now. Yeah. And the pepper. 
basically right like you was talking about it's just either one thing or there's two things and it's not really complex yes yeah, this rise is never very complex or there's a lot there's a lot of law going on unless they're you know unless they are and then, then i'm just not trained enough for rise right, to know what's exactly. going on <laughs> yeah. I had a, a great deal amount of rise so i'm not going to sit here and say that i'm a rye expert in the moment what second sip was warm boy What I say it was one fourteen point something. It's it's definitely it definitely drinks like it's proof statement. You can definitely tell there's proof there. Yeah. <clears throat> and proof pounds. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like I've went back down. There's no reason. Yeah, like here lately I've gotten where I want something lower. For a while there we didn't do it intentionally but most of the videos we did had higher proof bourbons yeah everything was over 100. over 100 and then we got used to it and then i wanted that and but i'm like he said i'm like now i just want something a little bit more inviting i guess is the word inviting yeah. and even some you know bourbons uh even though they got a high um proof sometimes they drink like a you know, lower, lower yeah, there's plenty that we've tried that yeah. don't taste like, or you know, don't come off as they should be the proof there. Exactly. It's like I'll give a little spoiler. I'm not gonna say a name. Earlier today, we got to uh, meet meet with someone from a distiller here in North Carolina, and uh, he brought us some stuff, uh, some samples of their products, and uh, one of the products that he brought was like a one. 12 i yeah. think and it did not it you know it seemed like you know mid 90s it was very drinkable enjoyable bourbon i can tell you right off the rip i wouldn't daily sip this oh yeah that was that part of the daily sipper yeah i don't know when i would use it i don't know if i don't know I bet you could tame it down. I just thought of this, and I don't know if anybody, I'm sure people have used it in old fashions. I bet with some, an old fashioned rye with some simple syrup to tone down that heat yeah. and that pepper. You could tone the heat down a little bit. It'd be really nice. Yeah. I, and I bet some of the flavors that's in it would shine through more if the heat wasn't, or that black pepper on the finish wasn't so overpowering. That, that's what's so overpowering. And as soon as it hits the palate, it's like sweet hot. That pepper is like way up here. Yeah. Like yeah. you taste the sweet for just a smidge and then the rest of your, all the way through the finish, the whole is finish just hot is pepper. hot pepper. Yeah. I like black pepper on my food, but I really don't want it in my bourbon or my <laughs> rice, excuse me. Well, I mean, I do, but not that yeah, much. Yeah, not that much. Yeah. No. I, I like the little hug. Like my favorite thing, my favorite thing. I, I used to hate rye. I don't, I, that's good, but it's not something I would do with sip as I said, but um, my start beginning to like a lot of the high rye bourbons because you get a little bit of the heat, but you still also have the flavor complexity mm -hmm. of the bourbon. You have all the flavors from that, and then you get the, the little rye hug on the end, but it's not like <clears> this. <throat> this is overpowering. Um, since we're talking about rye, think that, <clears throat> well, I'm hanging on you with the thing. My favorite ride that I've had so far whenever we went down to the Bourbon Whiskey Library to see to do a video with Anthony. Yep. The bottle the bottle that I had picked out for us to try um was uh was the Kentucky Owl was their rye and that one just happened to be batch one. I'm not sure I think there's quite a few batches of it now. Um but that's definitely my absolute favorite ride that I've ever had though. Yeah. It was phenomenal. I tried it too, but I just don't remember yeah. what it tastes like. So. I just remember the old Fitzgerald 19. Yeah, well that, uh, uh, that was the first, well, first one we tried on the video. I picked first and that's what it did. We had a, a palette starter before we started, but yeah. yeah, that was the first one we had. Yeah, the palette starters was like what? 
Blade and Bow, the Blade and Frank August, which and Frank Frank August. Don't 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 sleep on that Frank August. That's some good stuff. Very good. And I have I haven't been able to even see one. Uh, I don't think they're sold in North Carolina yet. I don't. Might not be. I think that's what he said. I think. But anyway, back to the back to Templeton this. run. It's good. I'll say it's good. I like it. But daily sip. I mean, if I was going there and pour some, I'd be like, as soon as I drank it, I'd be like, uh, I, I messed up. You gotta have a hard day for this. Yeah. <laughs> it, and it's just because of that heat. That's the only moment you play. Now, it it could change once. Once it's been open for a while. It's open for a while. I'll let like, I just cracked it. Yeah, well, it's, it's, yeah. A fresh, it's a fresh crack. So, I mean, if you, if you poured it and let it sit in the glass for probably 30 minutes or so, then the ethanol, some of that ethanol heat yeah. might, might go away so we might have to like go back to it and try it again like sometime later we might do it like on a a, a youtube short or something mm-hmm. josh will put one up do what happened to what, what what we could do do a blind rye just all rice yeah because we got you got some straight rice yeah i got i got several rice yep then so we could do a blind, a blind yeah. uh, tasting of rice so that that would be a good one to put in I'd like to acclimate myself more towards rye, like get to, you know, yeah. getting the notes and stuff out of rye's. Because, I mean, I'll just cover this real quick. We started the channel based as a bourbon review. Yeah. And that's mostly what we've tried to stick to, but we're going, we're wanting to start branching not to tequila or gin or nothing like that, crazy. But, but just, you know, maybe beer, doing more rye's, doing rise, more, more whiskeys, nor, you know, normal whiskeys. Right. You know. So, maybe even some Irish whiskey. Yeah. Red breast 27. What else? What else? Like some red, some red We breast. got to, t- speaking of the bourbon whiskey library at Anthony's, we got to try some red breast 27. I'm telling you, honestly telling you, I would take half, three quarters of my shelf and donate it to somebody just to have a red breast 27. That red breast 27. And that is my first time I've tried Irish I've whiskey. I've heard the Good. 15 is phenomenal too. And... I may end up going back and getting I've got the 12, bottle. I've got the uh, Red Breast 12 on my Christmas list yeah. for the Bourbon Troll people on him saying, you know, finally get it for me. Yeah. If he's wink, looking, wink. If he's looking. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so we'd be looking out for some other things other than just straight bourbons and rods and, well, I mean, we've done a few rods, but not many. Yeah. Be, um, yeah. Final thoughts for me on that. Definitely not a daily sipper. Um, the flavor complexity is just, I'm just getting two flavors, like, as far as, like, the nose and the palate and the finish, it's just sweet, caramel, pepper, black pepper, and, you know, that could be just my inexperience with rice, and and there could be more there that I'm not getting after it's set open for a while and revisit it or something, I might change my mine but could that's pretty totally, much could be totally different in another month yeah that's per, that's my views on that fresh crack anyway fresh crack yeah on fresh crack it's uh only complaint i have is just finish one yeah. it's too too peppery hot yep that's all that's all you got that's it all right guys well i guess that wraps up another episode of the bourbon troll bourbon podcast troll. uh brandon should be back soon yeah, we have our. Till then, they've got a feeling. Great feeling right here. As Excellent. he plays, sits there and sucks on his toy or whatever he's doing. So, ladies and gents, until next time, as always, happy, happy bourbon, bourbon trolling. Peace out.